Hey, good morning, you guys. Yeah, this is a very big day for West Catholic high schools and area Catholic schools. So this is a day that the faculty say they have been preparing for every day since last March. Students are going to be arriving here around 7 a.m. this morning. So we're the early birds here a little bit early. We actually have Greg Gehring with us this morning. He is the marketing communications coordinator for Catholic schools. How are you doing, Greg? Doing well, Sarah. Thanks for having us. Of course. So you guys have been preparing for this every day since March. What has the preparation been like? Because this is obviously very unprecedented. Right, really. I mean, since school buildings closed in March when the pandemic hit, like you said, we've been preparing. You know, our teachers have jumped right into remote instruction when school buildings closed. School building leaders have been meeting weekly uh, to collaborate and make sure that there's a plan for in-person instruction this fall in a safe and prudent way, as well as remote learning in situations that require it. Right, so students have that option. They can stay at home or they can come here. Here at West Catholic High School, you guys have over 95% of students who plan to return in person. Correct, and so for students, that small number of students who have chosen that the best option for them right now is to continue learning at home, they can participate in their classes at West Catholic either synchronously or asynchronously. They can jump in on the live stream for students to join that class session, or they can watch it later, um, the recorded version of the class uh, if needed. Yeah, it's been really fascinating to learn about all the work you guys have put into this, all the regulations, the data that you've researched. Yep. So when kids come today, what's it going to be like behind those walls? What have you guys done to make it safe and healthy? Right. You know, of course, uh, students are going to be required to have their masks, faculty and staff as well, um, in all areas of the building at all times, except when they're eating or if they can't medically tolerate it. Um, there's hand sanitizing stations in common areas in every classroom. And obviously, classrooms will be spaced out, so students are spread apart um, and that'll be the case as well in common areas too. So here at West Catholic the classrooms are quite large. There's room enough to fit 24 students in each classroom um, and they even took down a wall between two classrooms in order right. to make it large enough to accommodate those 24 students. Yeah the brain power and the research that went into this I think a lot of us are really impressed parents with all the work you guys have done and then lastly lunches. You guys provide breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's pre-packaged now. Yeah that's right. Breakfast, lunch and dinner here at West Catholic all pre-packaged individual packaged and set up with a touchless system so that students can grab and go and then the uh, lunch room has been split up into two spaces now so that students have enough room to spread out and eat their meal. All right Greg students are gonna be here in about an hour so we appreciate your time thank you. Thank you. Reporting live in Grand Rapids today Sarah Grimmer for Fox 17 News.